Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I'm here today with set number 40190, the Ferrari F138. This is ages 6 and up. It doesn't show the number of pieces on the package, and according to Brickset.com, it has about 41 pieces to the set. This was released in 2014 as part of a show promotion in various countries. And if you're wondering, as far as the states... We did not get this promotion in the United States, unfortunately. But a lot of European countries did have this available at Shell gas stations, where you would fill up to a certain amount, and then you'd be able to get this during different weeks. Uh, different weeks had different poly bags, so it really prompted you to come back every now and then, so you could get the whole collection. That's why I have Mike and Chloe from 3 Brick Friends here. I have to thank them properly for getting this poly bag, which is somewhat elusive um, to obtain in the United States and this was part of a polybag trade we had much earlier. Thank you both. Now let's get on to the review. There's really nothing to see from the back of the polybag in case you're wondering. Just a little bit of advertising, uh, different languages, and your standard polybag information. Now looking at the set we have a couple extra pieces here which is more than I expected out of this set but they're very nice, you know, to, to get a whole bunch of these. This one is surprising to get because I thought it was actually missing from here. And I checked the instructions over twice. That's not the case. So that's just another nice piece to get. That lime green piece that's still sitting here is not an extra piece, however. That is intended to be part of the model. See, on the instructions, they show that you can switch out the driver by changing the color of the helmet. So you could have a lime green driver or you could have a blue driver, which is nice just to break up the color from the set, but really offers no interesting detail other than that, you know, just the color for it. Because in reality, you're really not seeing what the driver looks like on this miniature scale. We also get in this set a small card, which shows all of the shell promotions available at that time. There were six of them to collect, so six different weeks to obtain them. It also shows in the back, shell.com slash lego. I wonder how, how long that's going to last for a, you know, a website, because Shell and Lego are not going to be you know, coordinating with each other for from now on, from what I've heard. Here is the sticker sheet for all of the different stickers applied to this model, and it's actually pretty hefty for something so small in a poly bag. There are a total of about, looks like nine stickers on here. And they offer lots of different promotions from other, you know, companies. Shell prominently, but there's also Santander, Fiat, uh, Ferrari, TNT, and many others. UPS is also on there. These are the kinds of things that you would see on a race car on one of the Ferrari F138 cars. So that seems appropriate, and I do like it. However, I didn't apply them because I wanted to see how this looked without applying the stickers onto the main model. The only printed piece that we have on here is on the front. You can see this large red piece that strokes down the front and attaches. It's actually one large piece, so it's actually part of the front. Um, I, again, don't know uh, car types and car names, so apologize uh, in advance. So... Anyways, you have this printing on the front, which is nice. Nice little striping there. Um, you would apply some of the stickers onto here, here, and on the sides, on the back, and even towards the back over here. As I may have mentioned before, maybe I didn't mention it, but it's good to mention, there is a pullback motor in here, which is very unique with this series of pullback cars from Shell. This is a very unique piece that pretty much goes through the entire body of it, and you can wind it up from the back and let the car go forward. On the top, it looks pretty good for its design. Really gets across the Formula One shaping. And I really like how this looks, even with the small details right here. And there's even that little light back there. So, let's see how well this does. When I pull it back a little bit on my stand. Ooh, I think we ran over a driver. Or is that a one by one? I, I, I can't tell. Okay. Uh, well, I think it just wore off once it hit the wall. There it goes. 
Okay, so it can be wound up and go pretty far, pretty fast, pretty easily. And one thing I also notice about these that if I take off these tires, you'll notice that for the wheels, they have a little yellow printing around them as well. For each of the wheels in here, you get to see that nice trimming and I don't know the exact word exactly, but it looks pretty nice to give it a little bit more detail. And it's a black wheel, which is something I don't see too often in modern LEGO sets. So I do appreciate it, even if it does have a print on it. So if you can get your hands on this promotional poly bag, good luck. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, because the collection of them seems kind of nice. But for me personally, I'm okay with getting at least one of these. I mean, I'm not that big of a car fan or a race car fan, so... You know, telling these apart, I know there's only one Formula One car, but I don't really see much of a purpose except for, you know, making a collection out of them just to get all of these. I, I can't say like, oh, I love these cars or something like that. That's not true. But I do appreciate getting this poly bag from Mike from Three Brick Friends. You can check him out on his YouTube channel. And you can also check out some reviews that he's had of recent Lego sets. You can also check out, I believe, Brickstore has a collection of all of these, so you can check that out as well. Um, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out some other LEGO reviews I've put up on this channel for lots of different poly bags. Uh, even some other older shell products from the 90s. Uh, I have several of them that I've reviewed on this channel. And you can also check out more videos coming soon to, the, to Maniac for Bricks. We'll see you next time with more LEGO videos. Hardly see the wheels. I really, really enjoy this poly bag. This is something that I've been looking forward to from a long time, and seeing it in Lego form, it's so, so simple.